Tomorrow, heads of state will come here and they will be having their summit over two days. It's a political summit, it's a political talk. Then after that, you will have the technical negotiations and discussions taking place, which will be led by technocrats. So heads of state will be giving their negotiators a mandate and a brief and the blessings of what to negotiate on, what to focus on, and what to do. Just right in front of you, you will see an office there written COP28 UAE. That's where the <coughs> president of the Conference of the Parties, the 28th edition, is located together with the United Nations, of course. So, so far, the high-profile attendees to this climate conference that we have spotted and we've been able to engage with, they include the former uh, State Secretary of the United States of America, and that is John Kerry, who is the current climate climate change envoy representing the president of the United States and that is Joe Biden who will not be attending COP28. He did attend COP26 in Glasgow. He was at COP27 in Egypt but this time around he is occupied by other domestic issues. There is a looming election in the United States of America and also he is heavily involved in what is going on between Israel and Hamas. So and you would then know that he's been giving regular updates of what is happening there, particularly with the release of hostages. So we do not expect there is confirmation that the President of the United States is not going to attend. And another cancellation that came last night was that of the Pope, who is unwell. The Pope will not be coming, but mm. other leaders will be coming. South African delegation will be led by President Cyril Matamela Ramaphosa this coming weekend. They will be participating in that climate summit that will include heads of state.